I'll probably be right on my feet cheering away, you know, like there's a lot of energy. Millions of eyes will be focused on what's happening in the State Farm Center tonight. All Elite Wrestling is bringing its dynamite show to Champaign. Now, it's not the first time the arena has had wrestling, but it is the first national TV broadcast event there that's not a lot of basketball. WCNI 3's Andy Olson is live in Champaign now. Okay, so wrestling fans, we were just talking about wrestling fans take their fandom to a new extreme. Are you seeing any of that right now? Absolutely. I mean, the feeling outside of this place right now, in one word, is hyped. We've seen hundreds of fans pass by us and head into the building. Now, Champaign is one of the smaller markets on AEW that they're visiting on their Dynamite Tour, but over 100 fans gathered on the quad in October, and that was just for a meet and greet. This specific show got its start in October of this year. The company itself was only founded in January, but they drew almost one and a half million viewers in their first episode. Now, some bars in downtown Champaign were hosting pregame parties parties before heading to the show. One fan there was ready for the show when we asked him. I am super excited. It's cool that they're coming here and also that it's live televised. So, you know, the idea of like seeing a live show as it's happening while it's on TV too. Now, AEW is owned by Champaign native and U of I alumni Tony Khan. He says he used to dream of fictional wrestling cards while growing up here. Now the same dreams are coming to life in his hometown. Now the fans are mostly inside and in their seats because the show gets started at 6.30. But for now, live in Champaign, Andy Olson, WCIA3, your local news leader. I liked his mask. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Andy. No. I know you did, too. <laughs> that was oh, not a ringing endorsement. Okay, so two wrestlers in the ring tonight stopped by our studios yesterday. They talked with C.I. Living. You can find that interview on our website, WCIA.com. He was maybe, speechless. Maybe he has one, and he just didn't want to give it away. <laughs> it's on the down low. Yeah.